I want to take a second and talk about the most asked question that I get, whether that be through my email, through phone call, or whether that be uh, through Facebook message or YouTube message, and that is the subject of wrist pain, arm pain, injuries in this area of the arm, what they're from, the causes, the effects of them, and how we can prevent them. I get asked that a ton, partially due to an old blog post that I made years ago uh, that I had wrist pain issues with. So before, before we dive in, I wanna know, what is your number one drumming pet peeve? Put it in the comments section below and let me know. A pet peeve is something that just annoys you. It can be on the gig, off the gig, it can be about equipment, whatever it is. My number one drumming pet peeve is when drum that I know are phenomenal overplay and they just ruin the song because they decide yes they're gonna overplay that's my number one pet peeve but let's talk about this um, so we have several different kinds of pain and I just got off the phone yesterday and this I, I wish this had been my only phone call about this in the past few years but it's not we talked to a um, fellow from California who shall remain nameless uh, on the worldwide intraweb's but we talked for about half an hour about why he was having pain why he was having numbness tingling in some areas and I've had similar pain myself uh, I kind of want to just tell you where the different areas can occur uh, or pain can occur in different areas and kind of some things you can do to prevent it or things you might look at doing to prevent it. Most of this comes from our technique and our grip. Uh, it usually doesn't have to do with the actual act of playing the drums. We get repetitive motion injuries. So let's talk about the forearm. The forearm, whenever you injure the forearm, you're usually going to have a muscle strain caused by repetitive use or improperly hitting something. So if you're having pain on the top, that's going to be tennis elbow. If you're having pain on the bottom, that's probably going to be golfer's elbow. Now, I'm not a doctor, so if you continue to have pain, you need to go to a doctor. For tennis elbow and golfer's elbow, that usually comes from how you're hitting the drum, the force you're hitting the drum with. Are you driving straight through the drum? Are you trying to use rebound? How tightly are you gripping the stick? All those things come into play whenever you start getting pain here and here. It's only called tennis elbow and golfer's elbow because of the motion. Tennis players make this motion all the time. Uh-oh, what motion do we make as drummers? Yep, the same motion, right? So even though it's called tennis elbow, a lot of guys don't go, I don't, I don't even play tennis. It has nothing to do with tennis. It's just a term that's been coined for it, uh, this particular issue. So there are compression bands that help with that, where you can put it and they compress it. You really need to rest the area. You can also try an ice pack uh, wrapped in a towel on top of that for 10, 15 minutes. Uh, do that every hour and that kind of helps the inflammation as well as just over the counter like ibuprofen. But again, I'm not a doctor. Uh, Anti-inflammatories do help those types of things because it is an inflammation but you need to look overall at the way that you're playing. And in the Live Lesson Vault, I've actually got a couple of uh, lessons that help with that. Lesson number um, 260 is how to set up your kit for you. So like, how is it most comfortable at your kit? And we go through for half an hour, just talk about setting up the kit. Uh, lesson 302 is forearm care and maintenance. So what can you do for your forearm exercises? stretches, that kind of thing. You can find those, that's on my website. It's a link is below here. Uh, now, another problem, that a lot of drummers face is pain, numbness, and tingling in this area. So in the wrist area or in the thumb, uh, let's look at a couple things that we can do to address that. A lot of times drummers are playing with the improper grip. So what comes into play with the improper grip? Well, maybe you're using French grip all the time. French grip uh, was made as a lighter grip, so it's made to use French music as, as lighter. It has more finesse to it. So when the grip came about to play timpani that way, it was just the, the grip that you could use the fingers the most and play this delicate music. Now, when you transfer that to the hi-hat and you're always playing like this, if you'll look at your wrist, your wrist goes up and down like this really well. It doesn't go up and down like this so well. Okay, so whenever you're playing like this, you're doing a motion that isn't natural for your wrist. Okay, you're exerting that. And so if you continually beat like that on drums and hit them in that French grip at hard and high volumes, you're going to start getting some pain here. You can adjust that by simply turning your grip to American, which is slightly turned over, or German grip, which is all the way turned over and uses more wrist. I also have a, uh, a lesson on the site that talks about that. Lesson uh, number 295 goes through some wrist injury prevention techniques, stretches, and things that you can do for the wrist. Um, and then I also have lesson, I think it's 259 on the site, is gripping the stick. Like, how do you grip it? Where's the fulcrum? Lesson number 75 is a finger technique on in the lessons. And all those, again, you can find those a link below here. Uh, 
Um, but those, those are just lessons that I put out there because it's like I get asked this question all the time. And it comes down to, if not your grip and how you're hitting it, it comes down to the actual how you're gripping the stick. Is your fulcrum too tight? Are you tensing up here when you hit? And whenever you hit the, the drum, are you completely tense and stiff-armed? Um, are you using the fingers? Are you allowing your fulcrum and your fingers to allow the stick to rebound and using that natural force of the stick to throw it back down? All those things come back into play. So if you're having wrist numbness and pain, I would say look at how you're gripping the stick, look at how you're hitting the drum, the method French, German, American grip that you're hitting the drum with, and then the actual how tight is your hand when you're hitting the drum. Because sometimes we get excited. I was in a, I was in a rock band on Universe for years, and we'd play these big shows, and I'd get pumped up, and, and I wound up getting tennis elbow from just tightening up and starting to hit improperly too much. And that's kind of why I made all, all the lessons that I referred to earlier is because I get asked about this all the time. And I know I'm just talking, but I, it's like they don't, it's like people don't know where to start. So you have to start with, okay, how am I hitting this drum? Okay, how am I gripping this stick? It really does come down to that and uh, getting with a good qualified teacher, whether that be online with say me and we do it through video. I do that with all the time with people or that be in person with another teacher. Uh, you can also, if you have really bad wrist pain, there's, uh, it's called active release uh, technique or active release therapy. And there's actually techni uh, technicians all over the world that do this. Uh, it's not invasive and they basically massage the issue out of your arm that's who I went to dr. Preston Wakefield here in Nashville and he helped me he taught me stretches and taught me how to keep this from happening again but I've put a link below this video as well to the ART website and that has a finder a location finder so you can actually go on there and find one that is is qualified in extremities this it would be the extremity from here to here is the qualification you're wanting uh, and you can find one in your area so I know this video got a little bit long but I just wanted to talk and touch on and tell you the resources that are out there that will help you kind of deal with this issue of tightness, pain, numbness, all those things that I get asked continually. When I get asked a question like this all the time, it's like, okay, I need to put something out there for you guys uh, just to go ahead and know what resources are available. Stay tuned to this channel. Uh, later this month, we're going to be doing some big giveaways. I'll be celebrating two years of live streaming, and so I'm pumped 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 and uh and i'm also going to be announcing an endorsement that i uh that i inked this week but that'll come later so we'll talk to you soon